بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We'll continue doing some problems for section 4.4. We'll finish this one. Now we'll go to these MCQ questions. And as I said before, the idea is that uh, the function will be different, but we are doing the same. We'll find f double prime, and then we discuss the concavity or the inflection points. Okay. So I need first to find f prime. And then f double prime. Okay, this is quotient rule. I have ax times ax plus one, derivative of the numerator times the denominator, minus derivative of the denominator, which is the same ax times the numerator over ax plus one all square. Okay, what's the domain of f, by the way? The domain of f is all real numbers, because this is cannot be zero. Okay, so that will be what? e to x plus e x minus e to the power 2x over e x plus 1 over square. So that e to the power x over e x plus 1 over square. Now I'll find the second derivative. That'll give me what? I'll do the same. e x times this one minus the numerator. Derivative of the denominator, which is 2ax plus 1. Derivative of this, which is ax. Okay. Over ax plus 1, all to the power 4. Okay, I can take common factor, ax times ax plus 1. What's the remaining from the first one? ax plus 1. This one, I took this, I took this, minus 2ax. Over this. This is cancelled with this, becomes 3. So I have ax. What is there? 1 minus ax over x plus 1 cubed. Okay. Now I'll check if the prime equals 0. That will give me what? ax. That will give me ax equals 0. Or 1 minus ax equals 0. This is impossible. This one will give me what? ax equal 1. Take ln. I have x equal ln 1, which is 0. So now I'll put number line. I have 0. And this is my f double prime. I'll check. Take a value before 0. Take, for example, minus 1. What will be f double prime? of minus one. This is always positive. Nothing to worry about. This one always positive. So the control here. So I have e to the power minus one. That's what I care about. Yeah, e to the power minus one. One minus e is minus one over e is minus one plus one cube. As I said, this is positive, positive. And this one, also positive because it's one minus one over e, so it's always positive. It's, it's positive in this case, one over. So this is positive. This is take a value more than zero, more than zero. I'll take one. It will be this one will be one one minus e, which is negative. So it will be negative. So it's going to keep up, and this is going to keep down, and they have one inflection point. Okay, going to keep up in this wrong. No inflection point, wrong. Two inflection point, no. Concave up zero to infinity, no. Just in the concave up minus infinity to zero. Okay, the same idea. Now we'll do the calculation. First, what's the domain of f? All real numbers except plus or minus one. Okay, I will do the calculations. f prime will be 2x times x squared minus one minus 2x times x squared over x squared minus 1 squared. And that will be 2x cubed minus 2x minus 2x cubed over this. That is minus 2x whole square. This is f prime. If double prime, will be what? Minus 2 
Then the numerator minus minus 2x derivative of the denominator 2x squared minus 1 times 2x over x squared minus 1 to the power 4. Okay, I'll take minus 2 and x squared minus 1 as a common factor. What's the remaining? x squared minus 1. Okay, I took minus 2. And I took this one, common factor. What is the remaining? It will be minus 4x. Minus 4x squared, sorry. Minus 4x squared. Okay, it's minus x times 2 times 2x. That's minus 4x squared. Over this. This cancel, this is 3. That give me what? Minus two times minus one minus three x square over this cube. In other words, it's two plus six x square over this. Now we're going to check if double prime equals zero. That would give me 2 plus 6x squared equals 0, which is impossible because this is always positive. So now I'll put uh, first we need to find point of discontinuity. It's very clear x equal plus or minus 1. So we'll make the number 9, I have only minus 1 and 1. From here, I'm getting, I'm getting nothing. Okay. So take a value before minus one. Don't forget this is f double prime. This f double prime. Take a value before minus one. This is the numerator always positive. Take minus two. The denominator will be positive. So that plus be minus one and one. Take zero. That will be negative. More than one. That will be positive. So you have concave up, concave down, concave up. Concave down minus one to one. Okay. Yeah. How many inflection points? No inflection points. Because minus one and one does not belong to the domain of F. So they're not continuous at this point. Concave down in this, yes. Two inflection points wrong. So this is wrong. Concave down on its domain. No. It's concave up and down. Down. Wrong. Concave down minus infinity to minus one. Wrong. Give okay, down one, minus one to one. Yes. No inflection point. Yes. So that is correct. You say this function of the statement is true. Yeah. You can do it a long way. You're writing the function in as a piecewise function, which is a little bit complicated. Or you can graph the function. We know how to graph x squared minus four. This is x squared minus four. This is f of x or g of x, x squared minus four. Now, if we want to make the absolute value of this, now for f of x, that will be what? It will be the same here. This is my, by the way, this is minus two, this is two. Huh? And the same here. The positive is still the same. This negative part will become positive like this. This is this is two, this is minus two. So this is two. Okay. Oh, this is four, sorry. This is four, not two. Yeah, this is minus four. Because it's as x equal zero, that will be four. And this is minus two, and this is two. Okay, now I can conclude easily um, from the graph. It's concave up from minus infinity to minus two and two to infinity. And concave down from minus two to two. Uh, he's talking about what concave up, concave down, critical numbers. How many critical numbers we have? We have. Three critical numbers. 
ده اللي بيعرف I have a critical number. Here I have a critical number. Here F prime does not exist. Here F prime does not exist. Here we have also critical number where F prime is equal to zero. So I have three critical numbers. Okay. Yeah. So what is the answer? It will be concave up from mass infinity to minus two to, to infinity, concave down, which is this one. This is the answer. This will be my answer. Okay. The graph of this function is concave up. It means I need to find f double prime. The function, the domain is already in numbers. Huh? He gave me also. No, the not the domain already in numbers. He gave me a specific term, which is zero. Okay, find f prime, it will be cosine x minus sine x, find f double prime, that will be minus sine x minus cosine x. You have to find f double prime equal zero, that will give me what? Sine x equal minus cosine x. It means which quadrant? Second and fourth where sign is different than cosine in n signs. And what is the, uh, the reference angle? Will be by equal, by equal 4, so x will be 3 by over 4, by minus by over 4, and 2 by minus by, which is 7 by over 4. These are my angles, so I'll make the number 9. I have here 0. This is 2 by, these are the endpoints. Here I have 3 by over 4. Here I have 7 by over 4. So I want to check this. This is my function. In other words, it's minus sine plus cosine. That will make it easy. Now between 0 to 3 by over 4, I have this is positive, this is positive. First quadrant, so it will be negative for sure. Between 3 by over 4 and 7 by over 4, take a value, for example, what? By. By, cosine by is minus 1, sine by is 0, so that will be plus 1, minus times minus 1. Here I have in the fourth quadrant, or you can do it by angles. Uh, this is 360. Uh, 7 by over 4 is what? 315. So I have 330 somewhere here. I know sine 330, I need to find f double prime. 330 is what? Um, 11 by over 6. Yeah. It will be what? Minus sine 11 by over 6, it's minus half. And cosine 11 by over 6 plus 3 over 2. That give me what? Positive or negative? That will be negative value. Because square root of 3 minus 1 is positive times minus, that will be negative. So it's concave down, concave up, concave down. This is what you care about. So you want what? Concave up. So this is the answer. That's it. This is the answer. The number of flexion point of this function. Okay. Let us do the calculation. First, what's the domain? The domain of f. I have 6 minus x greater than or equal to 0. That means x less than or equal to 6. So this is my domain. Now find f prime. It will do the calculations. The root of the first is 1 times the second plus the first, the root of the second, which is 2 square root 6 minus x and minus 1. And let's simplify. This is over 1. That will be 2 square root 6 minus x. That will be 2, 6 minus x minus x. That will be what? 12 minus 3x over 2 square root 6 minus x. Okay, let me do the second derivative. Second derivative will be what? Same thing, I will do the same, but now this is a quotient rule, minus 3. Times the denominator minus three times the denominator 
Okay. Minus. The numerator. Times derivative of the denominator. Derivative of this is what I have half half is, is somewhere. Times two square root six minus no not half but I mean half. I want I want to differentiate this derivative of this. That will be two times two square root six minus x times minus one. All of this over four six minus x. Okay. Now this two cancels with this two. I have what? Minus six six minus x. And I have minus that one plus twelve minus three x over four six minus x is square root six minus x. Okay, that gives me what? Minus thirty six. Plus six x plus twelve minus three x over four six minus x to the power three over two. That gives me three uh, x minus twenty four over four six minus x to the power three over two. Okay. Now, if the double prime equals zero, find the flexion points. I need to do two things: if the double prime equals zero, or if the double prime does not exist. Provided it's continuous, the function is continuous in that. If the double prime equals zero, that means what? Three x minus twenty-four equals zero, so x equals eight. Is it in the domain of f? No, it's in, it does not belong to the domain of f. Okay. We'll go if the double prime does not exist. When the double prime, so I have x equals six. Is it the domain of f? Yes. However, when I do the number line, or I do the distant intervals, this is will be six. This will be six. That's it. Nothing else. That's what I need to check. Okay, so before six, take a value. Uh, take five, for example. That would be positive. Five, 15 minus, that would be negative. Nothing else. This is the only point. So it means there is no change in concavity. No change in concavity. No change. So this is an end point. It means at six, no, no inflection point. So what's the number of inflection point? Zero. This one, not in the domain, and this one, there is no change in concavity. It's an end point. Okay, the function has a local minimum, max, minimum at this, local maximum at this. He put A and B there. Okay. And he won the inflection point. Okay, this is combination 4.3 and 4.4. .4. When he said it has a local minimum at this, that means what? In F prime at minus one equal to zero. Local maximum at this, that means F prime at minus three equals zero. For sure. Okay. Now we'll do F of X. X cubed plus AX squared plus BX plus one. What will be F prime? It will be 3x squared plus 2ax plus b. Okay, now f prime at minus 1. That will be what? 3 minus 2a plus b. That should be equal to what? To 0. That means 2a minus b equals 3. This is equation number 1. f double prime of minus 3. That will be? Uh, three times twenty-seven minus six a x okay, plus b. Uh, 
that's not the minus 6a. Minus 6, x is minus, a. that's minus 6a plus b equals to 0. That means what? That means 6a minus b. Wait a minute, I took it to the other side. Huh? have three minus two a b short just only be short at minus one three minus two a plus b so i have two a minus b equal to three good i have here 27 minus six a x equal minus three plus b so i have six a minus b equals 27. subtract them i have minus four a b cancelled equal minus 24 so a equal 6 if a equal 6 plug it here so i have what 12 minus b equal to 3 so b equals what 9 so yeah a equal 6 b equal 9 so it will be f of x it will be x cubed plus 6x six squared plus 9x plus 1. Okay, now to find the critical numbers, I need to find, to find the inflection point. I would do f prime, which I did before, but let me do it again. 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. I need f double prime. That will be 6x plus 12. Make it equal to 0, so you have x equal minus 2. If x equal minus 2, what will be y? Which is f of minus 2, f of minus 2. So I substitute here. So I have minus 8, 6 plus 24, minus 18 plus 1. That will be what? Minus 26, minus 1. So the point will be minus 2 and minus 1. The graph f prime is given. The graph f is concave up. Be careful. F prime. This is the graph of what? Of f prime, not of f. So how to relate the concave I mean the concavity with the with the, with f prime? If you remember, let me go back to these basic things. We said here when the function is concave up, when f prime is increasing. F prime increasing. Okay, F down and F prime is decreasing. Class. We'll use this. Okay. So concave up means F prime is increasing. And since this is the graph of F prime, I will look when this graph is increasing. Increasing from here to there. And from here to, to the end. So it will be from minus two to one and from three to infinity, which is this one. Constant. Okay. What you want to make statement is true. What I need to do, find if, if double prime and check. Concave up, concave down, inflection point, all of these things. Okay, let us do it. F prime will be what? Four over three X or small over three. Plus four over three x is minus two over three. Okay, subtract one. Okay. Now f double prime will be what? Four over nine x is minus two over three minus eight over nine x to the power minus five over three. Okay. Now the common factor which is 4 over 9, x is minus 5 over 3. What's the remaining? The remaining here is x minus 2. By the way, what's the domain of f? Domain of f or real numbers. Huh? x minus 2. That give me what? 4, x minus 2. Huh? Wait a Good. Over 
nine x is five over three. Okay. Now we will do the test. Uh, yeah. So we have. What are the points that to be checked? If the prime equals zero, that the is equal to, and if double prime does not exist, that implies x equals zero. Okay. So I've got zero and two. Okay. Take a value before zero. Take a value before zero. Uh, negative one. That will be negative, negative, that will make it positive. Between zero and two, take a value one, negative, but this is positive, that will be negative. More than two, it will be positive. So it's going give up, give down, and give up. Okay. If has an inflection point at minus one, no. If it's going to give down minus infinity to minus one, no. Uh, I, will, I will come back to this one. If it's going to up from 0 to 2, no, it's going to down. This is wrong. If it's going to down from 4 to infinity, no, it's going to up. So this is wrong. And this is the only solution. And also you can check f of 2. f of 2 will be what? 2 to the power 4 over 3 plus 4 times 2 to the power 1 over 3. That gives me what? Cube root of 16 huh? plus 4 cube root of 2. Cube, cube root of 2, yes. Cube root of 16 is 2 cube root of 2 plus 4 cube root of 2. That will be 6 cube root of 2, which is this one. So this is correct. Okay, so I have a flexion point here. Also at 0, by the way, I have a flexion point. Okay. This one, I want to check when it's going to keep up, going to keep down. Find it, f prime, ax minus 2x, f double prime, ax minus 2. So check when f double prime equal to 0. So you have ax minus 2 equal to 0. So you have ax equal to 2. So you have x equal lin 2. So we'll do the number 9. This is lin 2. Or the test intervals before lin 2 or take a value. Don't forget this is f double prime. For example, I take what? Zero. Huh? Zero will give me negative. After lin 2, take for example, uh, yeah, lin e, which is 1. So I have e minus 2, that will be positive. Okay. That will be. So it's going to keep down. Here it's going to keep down. Okay. All the answers, they have zero. Zero is here. Zero is here, which is then one. Huh? Okay. Which means from minus infinity up to zero, from minus infinity, the function is going to keep down. When I say it's going to keep down minus infinity to lin two, it's including, it includes, and it's, it goes from minus infinity to zero. It's concave down still. So concave up, this is wrong. Concave down, less, no. Concave up zero to infinity, no. From lin to infinity, so this is wrong. Concave down from zero to infinity, no. Part of it is concave down, part of it is concave up. And this is the only solution. So this is the trick. And instead of saying from minus infinity to lin two, you say it's only up to zero, which is which is part of this interval. The graph is going to get down on this interval. Calculation. Define the prime if double prime. Y prime will be what? The root of the first minus AX plus the second. That give me what? Minus or that give me minus X AX. My double prime will be minus AX. Minus x ax. That will be minus 1 minus x ax. Make it equal to 0. So we have x equal to minus 1. 
and then minus one. Take a value, this done minus one, minus two, that will give it plus, that will be minus zero, it will be minus. So it's concave up, concave down. What they want, concave down, concave down, minus one to infinity. That's it. That's what. One inflection point of this function, he gave me a specific interval. Okay, I'll do my prime. Function is continuous everywhere, Dif differentiable, no problem with it. E to the power x sine x plus e to the power x cosine x. In other words, e to the power x sine plus cosine. Okay, y double prime would be what? E to the power x derivative sine x plus cosine x plus e to the power x derivative of this, which is cosine minus sine. That gives me what? Cosine, that will be 2, e to the power x, cosine x. Sine will be considered minus sine. I have 2 cosine x. OK, y double prime equal to 0. So you have cosine x equal to 0. And that is what from this interval. That means when cosine equals zero, yeah, pi over two and minus pi over two. Okay. So check is there a concavity, change of concavity or not? So I have minus pi over two. I have pi over two. Here I have pi. Here I have minus pi. OK. Take a value between minus by and minus by over 2. I take, for example, uh, what? Minus 3 by over 4. I need the cosine, actually. This is what will affect uh, the sine of y double prime. This is always positive, so this is what makes the effect. Which quadrant will do it? To minus by and minus, that will be negative. Here I have positive because it will be the fourth and the first quadrant. By what this will be negative. What they want, one inflection point. So I have inflection point here. This will cave down, this will cave up, this will cave down. Also have inflection point here. Just he talk about the positive side. So at by over four. And what will be the answer? Y at by over four, by over two, I mean. That will be e to the power pi over 2 sine pi over 2. And pi over 2 is 1. That will be e to the power pi over 2. So I have this. OK. We said the function of the statement is true about the graph of f. OK. It's about inflection, concave up, concave down. So that means they need to find f double prime. Actually, you can simplify this function. OK. f of x is x minus 1 over x squared. Okay, I'll write it x over x square minus 1 over x square. And that will be 1 over x minus 1 over x square. In other words, x is minus 1 minus x is minus 2. Yeah, maybe that will make it easier to do the calculation. F prime is what? Minus x is minus 2 plus 2x is minus 3. F double prime, that will be 2x is minus 3 minus 6x is minus 4. So now I can take 2x is minus 4 common factor. I have x minus 3. Yeah, by the way, it's the domain of the function. All real numbers except zero. So I have point of discontinuity. Which is x equals 0. Okay, here f double prime equal to zero, very clear x equal to three. By the way, this is so I do the test intervals, I put the zero open, and this is three. Okay, let me take values. This is f double prime, by the way. This is f double prime. This is what I will check. Notice this is always positive, this is positive, so I care about x minus three. So it will be negative, negative, positive. So for sure I have this 
give down, no give down, okay. Up, so we have inflection points here by three. Okay, there's only one inflection point, correct? Two inflection points, wrong. Zero is not an inflection point. Zero is not an inflection point. Or at x equals, yeah. No inflection point at x equals zero. No inflection point at x equals zero. Just make it clear. The graph is concave down three to infinity. No, it's concave up. Wrong. The concave up mass infinity to zero. No, it's concave down. Has no inflection point. No, it has one inflection point. So this is the answer. Okay. The number of flexion points of this function. What is the domain? From zero to infinity. Because of this length. Yeah. Find f prime. Be to x minus one minus one over x. When there was to x minus one minus x is minus one. F double prime will be two hmm? minus or plus x is minus two. two plus one over x square, which is two x square plus one over x square. Ah, and notice this is always positive. So there is no change of concavity at all. So the function is concave, concave up all the way. It means there is no inflection point. Also, if you put it with the number line, huh? if you put this is from zero to infinity, so this is zero. Open. This is always positive. So there is no change of concavity. The graph of this function is concave up in this interval. Let us do the calculations. First, I need to write the function. Yeah. F prime will be what? 5 over 3. Huh? X to the board minus 1 over 3. Minus 5 over 3. X to the board. What? 2 over 3. F double prime. That will be minus 5 over 9, x to the board, minus 4 over 3. Minus 10 over 9, x to the board, minus 1 over 3. By the way, it's the domain of f, or in numbers, huh? There's no restriction in x. From the domain of the function, okay. That will give me what? Minus 5 over 9, x to the board, 4 over 3. I have what? Here I have one. Here I have plus 2x, which is what? Minus 5, 1 plus 2x over 9, x to the board 4 over 3. So I have f double prime. f double prime equals 0. That give me x equal minus half. F double prime does not exist. That give me x equal zero. I have minus half and zero. And they want to apply it in this one. Notice this is always positive. This the power is even. I mean, next to the board four. Nine is positive. So, what make the effect? This one times the minus sign. Take minus, that is done my, minus one. That will be negative times negative. The rest is positive. That will be positive. Minus half to zero. Minus half to zero. A value like uh, minus one over four. That give me minus, that will be positive. Negative, that will be negative. More than zero, one, two, anything. Two, that will be positive times negative. That will be negative. So you want concave up minus infinity to minus half. Yeah. The rest is wrong. Suppose that f double prime is continuous. 
if prime is equal to zero and if the prime is negative minus five then what if you notice this is what we talk about second derivative test uh, prime equals zero and they have if the prime is negative then we have what local maximum at c at x equals c Yeah, so I have this is negative, so for sure we have local max. Let me equal this, then I have some information. Okay. Yeah, one of them is about the inflection points, so we need to do up to the second derivative. Actually, do we have critical numbers also? I talk about the critical numbers. Um, vertical asymptotes. Yeah, we'll do the asymptotes first. I have vertical asymptotes. Very clear, if I do limit, x goes to zero from right. I have what? Um, this is minus one over x, so x goes to zero from right. That will be one over x goes to infinity times minus. That will be minus infinity, that will be zero. No asymptotes here, but x goes to zero from left that give me what minus of beta is infinity that will be infinity so from here i have x equals zero is a vertical asymptote okay horizontal asymptotes limit x goes to plus or minus infinity actually i can do it in one time i have one over infinity or minus infinity. that will be zero e to the power zero is one so i have y equal one is a horizontal asymptote. Now we'll do the derivative. F prime of x will be what? Uh, e is minus one over x. E to the one minus one over x times derivative of this, which is one over x squared. So it will be one over x squared e to the power one over x, which is always positive. Always positive. So for sure, there's no critical numbers. Okay. Yeah, by the way, what's the domain of f? Domain of f, all the numbers except zero. So if you want to do the number line, that will be zero. This is positive, this is it's increasing, increasing. The function is always increasing. We'll do the second derivative. Let me rewrite that, right? Yeah. As x is minus 2, e is minus 1 over x. To do the derivative easily. So I have f double prime will be equal to it minus 2, x is minus 3, e is minus 1 over x, plus x is minus 2, e is minus 1 over x, times x is minus 2. So I can take x is minus 4, e is minus 1 over x, this will be x is minus 4, huh? times what? Minus 2x plus 1 which is what, 1 minus 2x. Okay, so yeah, can check f double prime equal to zero, so I have x equal half. So I can do the half, this is the half. Before half, it will be positive, that will be negative. So it's concave up, concave down, so for sure, this one is an inflection point. Okay, if has a resentment asymptote, let me do it here. Decrease the concave down from zero to one. From zero to one, no. 
Oxygen dioxide is always increasing. This is wrong. Decreasing wrong. F has a vertical asymptote. Yes. No absolute maximum. Yes. To inflection point. Wrong. So this is wrong. F has a vertical asymptote. Correct. One critical point. No. No critical point. Yeah. Zero, the function is not defined. So we have here no critical point. Because zero is not in the domain of the function. So this is wrong. If has a residential asymptote, correct. No absolute minimum, correct. One inflection point, correct. So this is correct. Which one of the statement is false? Okay. I will do it because this is the, this is the the my answer, so I will I will do it backward. If f and g are positive increasing functions, then f g is increasing. How to check a function is increasing? I have the function f times g. I need to check its h prime. H prime will be what? F prime g plus f g prime. He said f and g are positive, but the meaning of this that means f positive, g positive. When it says f and g are increasing, that means what? f prime positive and g prime positive. So this is positive. This is positive. This is positive. This is positive. For sure, this is positive. So the function is increasing. So this is correct. There exists a function f says that if x is positive, f prime is negative, and if the prime is positive, yeah, take this function. Use minus x. Is always positive if prime is what minus is minus x is always negative if double prime is what e to the power minus x again, which is always positive. So there is a function. This is the example. If it is the differentiable, and f of minus one equal f of one, then there is a number c so that this is the Rolle's theorem. This four point two Rolle's Rolle theorem. So Rolle's theorem means what? The kind of differentiable. It means it's continuous differentiable. Everything I have f of a equal f of b. Then it means there exists a c. In the interval minus one to one, such that f prime at c equals zero. Alas, f prime at c equals zero. This means what? Means c between minus one and one, which is the same as absolute value of c less than one. So he just rewrite it. So this is correct. If f has a local minimum and f prime exists, for sure f prime equals zero. This is one one of the things we talk about in four point one. If f prime equals zero. Is that mean I have a local maximum? No, this is wrong. Why? Take x cubed. I have f prime, 3x squared equal to 0. So I have x equal 0. It means f prime at 0 equals 0. But there is no local maximum. No local maximum. Local minimum. So this is wrong. And x cubed is an example. If x equal this, yeah. find uh, when this one is going to give up. Okay, let us do the calculations. Yeah, what is the domain? The domain of array numbers, huh? no restrictions. So it will be f prime. It will be e to the power tan inverse of x times 1 over x squared plus 1. Derivative of tan inverse is x squared plus 1. That is what? e tan inverse of x. Or I can leave it like this. You, want, you know what? Let me write it as a product. Yeah. Then you will take one factor. Okay, f double prime will be what? The root of the first, which is e tan inverse of x times x squared plus 1 to the power minus 1. This is the derivative of this only, times the second. Okay. Plus the first derivative of this, which is minus x squared plus 1 to the power minus 2, don't forget, times 2x. Okay, that give me what? Yeah, we need to be careful with the calculation. 
tan inverse of x. I have x squared plus 1 to the power minus 2. OK. Minus 2x, a to the power tan inverse of x, x squared plus 1 to the power minus 2. OK. I can take a to the power tan x, tan inverse of x times x squared plus 1 to the power minus 2 as a common factor. The remaining is 1 minus 2x. So I'm having 1 minus 2x times e to the power tan inverse of x over x squared plus 1 all squared. By the way, what's the domain? The domain will not already number. So I have half. half. This is always positive. This is always positive. So I care about 1 minus 2x. Take a value of 0. That will be positive. And that will be negative. You want what? Concave up. Concave up from where to where? Mars infinity to half. That's, that's correct. The friction point of this function is what? So we'll do f prime. Actually, I did it before. Yeah, no, but the same function. Yeah, this is the same function. Okay, but I think it's very easy to do. So I have, but now he's talking about asking about the inflection point. Okay, so y prime will be minus x e x, huh? or, or do its calculation. It will be minus e x plus one minus x e x, so that will be minus x e x. Y double prime will be minus e x minus x e x. OK, so. Y double prime equals to zero, so I have X equal minus one. The domain of the function only in numbers, huh? I have no restrictions. So I have minus one. Before minus one, take a value, take uh, minus two. That will be positive. This will be negative. So there is a change of concavity. Everything is there. This is the friction point. And what will be f of minus 1? It will be 1 minus minus 1, 2. E used minus 1, which is 2 over e. So this is my answer. Which of the things is this true? It's true. Huh? F of minus 1, equal f of 1. There, there's a number of things that, that this and this, which is the same as this one. Here. So it's, it's correct. This is correct. The prime equals zero. Look, I said no. Why? X cubed, huh? X cubed is a good example. F prime equals G prime. Man, F equals G. No. Take F. X square plus one. Take G. X square plus two. They are not the same, but their derivative is the same. So this is wrong. If f double prime at 2 equals 0, then 2 is an inflection point. Not always correct. We say you need to check concavity, eh? change of concavity. Sometimes there is no change of concavity. So this is wrong also. If has at least one critical number, maybe. Why? Why? It depends on many things. So this is not correct. Not always correct. This function about this function. Actually, we did it before. No, this is e to the power 1 over x. Huh? Domain of f, all real numbers, except 0. And you care about concave up, concave down, inflection point. OK, let us find f prime. Actually, we, no, this is do it with the positive. So let us do it with the negative. With the, with the negative, now do it with the positive. That will be what? e to the power 1 over x minus 1 over x squared which is, I can rewrite it as minus e to the 1 over x, x is minus 2. F double prime, product rule, it will be what? Minus e is 1 over x times x is minus 2 times x is minus 2. Okay. That is minus, huh? Mm, be careful. Product of this. Derivative of this, which is minus 
use minus x derivative of this, which is minus one over x squared. This times x is minus two plus minus e is one over x derivative of this minus two x is minus three. Okay, that means what? I have x is minus four e one over x. Plus two x is minus three e is one over x. In other words, x is minus four e to the one over x. I have one plus two x, which is one plus two x e is one over x over x to the one four. So I have f double prime equal to zero. So half x equal minus half. Like the minus half. The zero also is there. Don't forget it's, it's closed. It's open. Okay, take a value with four minus half. By the way, this is always positive. This is always positive. I care about this. Minus one, that gives me negative. To minus one and a half minus one over four, that give me positive. More than zero, that give me positive. So it's going to down, concave up, concave up. So it's going to down minus infinity to minus. This is correct. Zero to infinity, concave down, wrong. Concave up minus infinity to zero, wrong. Concave up, no. Two inflection point. That's only one inflection point. Huh? That's only one inflection point. This is not a inflection point. Actually, it's not defined in the domain. Also, there is no change in activity. Okay. He said if one over three, and one and three is an inflection point. Yeah, I will try to do this. Uh, yeah, I will try to do until until the questions of the book. Okay, this is an inflection point for this function. That means what? Two things. This is the point in the curve. It means f of one equal three. Point of inflection. This is a polynomial, so cannot f double prime will be will exist. Will, uh, will be defined. You have no problem with it. It means f double prime at one equal to zero. We know that if there is have a point of inflection, it means either f double prime equal to zero or f double prime does not exist. Here, since this is polynomial, for sure, if the prime always exists, so the only possibility of if the prime at one equals zero. So I have two equations, two unknowns. We just solve it. I have y prime equals three a x square. Correct. Yeah. Plus two b x. Y double prime will be six a x plus two b. Okay. I have f double prime at one equals zero. So I have what? Six a plus two b equals zero. This is the first equation. F at one equal to three. That means what? A at one, huh? A plus b equal to three. Yeah. I can leave the I can leave this the same. Multiply the second one by minus two. So minus 2a minus 2b equal minus 6. Add them, you have 4a equal minus 6. So a equal minus 3 over 2. Plug it here. So I have minus 12 over 2. I have 6 times minus 3, mi minus 6 plus 2b equal to 0. So 2b equal minus 6, so b equals what? Minus 1 over 3. They're doing mistakes. This is 4a. I add them. This is minus 3 over 2. Look at here. No, this is not. Uh, what is this? Minus 3 times 6 is what? Minus 18 over 9, minus 18 over 2, so it's minus 9 plus 2b equal to 0, so 2b equal 9 
so be equal nine over two. Yeah. So now we need what? Two a plus b will be minus three plus nine over two, which is three over two. This is minus six over two. Yeah. Which one is one of these false about the graph? You want the false things, not the true things. Okay. So what I will do, find f prime. We're talking about concave up, concave down, inflection point. F has no asymptotes? Yes, no, it's a simple anomaly, no asymptotes function. F prime would be what? 4x cubed minus 4x minus 1. Yeah. 4x cubed minus 4x squared minus 24x plus 1. F double prime, what we care about if F, F double prime, it will be what? 12x squared minus 8x minus 24. Or I can take four common factor. I have what three x square minus four x minus two x minus six. Yeah. Strange. Uh, uh, they're doing mistakes. For x cubed. Yeah, as usual, calculations, calculations. Yeah. For x cubed minus 6x squared. Sorry for that. 6x squared minus 24x plus 1. F double prime. That will be 12 X square minus 12 X minus 24. Yeah, now now it makes sense. That will be 12 X square minus X minus 2. That will be 12 X minus 2 times X plus 1. That will be F double prime. F double prime equal to 0. That implies X equal to 2 or X equal minus 1. So I plug like minus one and two. Okay. So I have uh, before minus one. Uh, check if double prime. The sign of double prime. Check if keep up and keep down everything. Huh? Uh, before minus one, take minus two. Negative, negative. That will be positive. And zero. That will be negative. More than two. That will be positive. So it's concave up, concave down, concave up. Concave down minus one to two, correct. Concave up minus infinity to minus one and two to infinity, correct. Okay, how many inflection point we have? This is an inflection point, and this is inflection point. So I have two inflection points, this is correct, this is wrong. I cannot say it has only one inflection point. The sum of values of x at which the graph has a point of inflection. You want the sum of all values of x. Okay. So what I will do, what's the domain? Hmm, need to be careful. Yeah. I have the domain x is positive. What's the domain of f? First x is positive. Also then x not equal to 0. That means x not equal to 1. So it's positive and x not equal to 1. Okay, now let me do f prime and f double prime. F prime will be what? Derivative of the numerator, which is one times the denominator minus x derivative of the denominator e over x over e in x all square. That will be what? E in x minus e over e in x all square. Okay. Now, do the second derivative. That will be derivative of the numerator, which is e over x, and the denominator minus the numerator, 
three with the denominator, which is what? Two e in x, v e over x. All of this over e in x, all to the power four. Yeah. What is this? This is will be what? E e in x all square over x minus. Hmm. Here very complicated things. Multiply this by all of this. I have what minus two e e then x all square over x correct yeah e then x e then x square to e over x okay now plus e v2 v e square plus 2 e square e then x over x hmm yeah, strange. That will be what? 2 e square e in x minus e e in x square over x. Correct? Yeah. That give me what? I can take e e in x cone factor times what? 2e, yeah, minus e ln x, all over x. Hmm, what a strange thing. Okay, if the prime equal to zero, I have what? e ln x equal zero, which implies x equal one, but this is not in the domain of f. So out. The second one, I have 2e minus e then x equal to 0. So I have 2 minus then x equal to 0, just divide by e. That means then x equal to, that means x equal e square. And that's the only one. This is belongs to the main of f. So this is the correct one. Oh, calculation, thanks. Okay. If minus two and zero is the largest open interval over which the graph is concave down, then a equal what? Notice all the values, so a is positive. Huh? You notice you know, a is positive, all the values are positive. Okay, so f prime will be what? 4x cubed plus 3ax squared. Okay, f double prime, that will be 12x squared plus 6ax. In other words, I can take x common factor we have 12x plus 6a. Okay, if the prime equal to zero, so I have x equal to zero, or 12x plus 6a equal to zero, which means 12x equal minus 6a, it means x equal minus a over 2. Now they know this is less than zero. Why? Since a is positive from these answers. So it means I put the numbers. This is minus a over two, and this is zero. Take a value. Now we're checking f double prime. Huh? Take a value more than zero. Take one, for example. You have what? Uh, one. Twelve plus six a will be what? Yeah, a is, is minus a is negative, that means a is positive. Huh? So 12 for 6a will be positive. For sure. Take a value less than minus a over 2. We take a value uh, like what? Yeah, I don't know. What is a? I take minus a over, uh, take minus a. Minus a for sure it will be. At least done minus a over two. Minus a, plug it here. I have minus a here. I have 
minus 12a plus 6a, that will be negative, and that also will be positive. Take a value here, minus a over 4. Minus a over 4, give me what? Minus 3a plus 6a, that positive, that's negative, so this will be negative. So this is, will be the large interval. That means minus a over 2 equal to minus 12. Because he said this is minus 12 to 0. So this is 0, halas. This is minus a over 2 equal minus 12. That means a equal what? 24, which is this answer. The graph of this function is from cap down over the interval. As we'll find f prime. We have what? e2 over x times minus 2 over x squared. In other words, yeah, let me do it in product rule now. Okay, f double prime will be e to x times minus 2 over x square. This is only the derivative of this. Times this again, plus e2 over x, derivative of this, which is what? x is minus 2, minus 2, x is minus 2, so that will be 4 over x cubed. Okay, so I take e to the power 2 over x, over x to the power 4 as a common factor, I have what here, minus 4, and here I have what, plus 4 over x, plus 4x. So it will be 4x minus 4, e to the power 2 over x, over x to the power. So f double prime equals 0, I have x equal, wait a minute, did I do a mistake? Oh. I have e to the power 2 over x. For example, this one, e to the power 2x, which is now 2x is minus 1. What's the derivative of this? Minus 2 over x squared. Oh, this is done. This is OK. Now, this one, e to the power 2x minus 2 over x squared times the second times the times g, plus e to the power x derivative of this. This is minus 2, x is minus 2, which is 4 over x cubed. Alas. So I took e to the power 2x over x to the power 4. I have minus 4 plus 4x. What's wrong? So x equal 1. That's B. OK, x equal 1, yeah. And OK, 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 OK. If the word prime does not exist, implies x equals 0. By the way, no. Yeah. The domain is already in numbers except 0. Huh? Except 0. This is the domain. OK, OK. I get it now. OK, tricky a little bit. OK, so I have one. I have one, also I have zero. Yeah, zero is the point of discontinuity, which I need I need to put here. Okay. Take a value less than zero. Take a value less than zero, negative. That give me what? Negative, that all the way is negative. Take a value between zero and one, half, is still negative. This is, by the way, this is always positive, this is always positive. So the control is here. So this is also negative. To so 1 to infinity, take a value, that will be positive. Okay, now we need to be careful with the choices. Uh, this is the correct answer. So leave it minus a, minus a infinity to e. This is, this is wrong because it will be positive. Minus e square root of e, square root of e is where? Um, yeah, more than one, so this is negative. This is wrong. 
this is wrong. Minus infinity to half. Okay. No, tricky. Half is here. But I know this one, the function is not defined. So this is wrong. I cannot save for minus infinity to half. I need to save minus infinity to zero and from zero to one. Yes. Minus infinity to minus one. Minus one is here somewhere. So this it's minus one is here. So I can say for minus infinity to minus one, it's concave down, like what we did before. So this is correct. 